Hey, Facebook friends. <laughs> Hi, Facebook friends on YouTube. Uh, we wanted to make another video, and this one is specifically about the topic of tongues. So, Ben. Yeah. Do you have the gift of tongues? I personally feel like I do. I feel like it's a personal prayer language to edify my spirit. You know, I believe in everything that Scripture says about tongues, but most importantly, I believe that we shouldn't forbid it, and that's the most overlooked thing that we all over. I mean, we probably all overlook it. And uh, you know, I come from a Southern Baptist church, and it was great. And uh, you know, I really had a great time there with God. And uh, so it took some years, you know, to come into that to to uh, the gift for of God to break up my hard soil, the hard rocky soil in my heart to to think that you know maybe there's something in tongues for me, you know, maybe it's uh, I always felt like I have not, you know, some people feel like I have not and they're like, because people tell them that they are, but they're not, you're not <laughs> a have not, you're all special to God if you do or if, if you don't, you do know? you think everybody, as long as you believe in Jesus, you've got, you've got what you need, do you think everyone has to speak in tongues, to be saved, right, no, right, I've never thought that, right, but why, why do some people think that? I, you know, it's probably more like, just like, uh, you know, Lord, I just pray that this doesn't offend anyone, but offenses will come, that's inevitable, and uh, we're one body, many parts, so I'll just say, you know, why do people think that, that you have to speak in tongues to be saved, you know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I wish because I that's what happened at Pentecost. That's what happened at Pentecost, you yeah. know. And, so, uh, so people think since that happened at that time that it has to happen every time people get saved. Yeah. But it is interesting to note that in Acts, the 4,000 or 3,000 that got saved, it doesn't say anything about them speaking in tongues. So. That's good. Yep. Anything, well, anything else we should say about that? Um. I don't know. You know, I think I think tongues is mainly to edify yourself. You know, this life is so hard, and uh, you know, tongues will kind of keep you going. It'll keep your subconscious mind focused on God, and uh, it's so hard to uh, to pray and keep your mind focused on God twenty four hours a day. It says pray without ceasing, you know, and it also says don't be thinking that you're saved by your many words of prayer. You know, don't be trying to get a reward from man. You know, like the Pharisees did, and so, you know, the main the main thing is just to have the right heart to abide in Christ. John fifteen. Without Him, we can do nothing, mm -hmm. but with Him, we can do anything. And you can abide in Christ. Can I say that? Yeah, you can you can abide in Christ no matter what gift you have. Like I think my gift is teaching, so I feel like I abide in Christ the more that I post on Facebook and express my teaching gift. So, praise God. So whatever gift you have, that will help you to abide in Christ the more that you use it and you know fan the flame stir up the gift that you have Amen. Amen. I pray that it bless somebody yeah. maybe I didn't cross all the T's and dot all the I's like some theologians would you know and it's okay. I'm just not the theologian type of guy but should we pray about this but I do believe in God's word and I do love to read it so do you want to pray for people yeah okay. yeah Go ahead. okay so Lord right now I just want to pray in Jesus name God that you know you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever hope for ask or think and i thank you jesus lord that if someone is feeling discouraged you've probably been a christian who knows 20 30 years you've always felt down on yourself like or just you felt like i have not like you've been robbed and someone else had this great beautiful thing and and it was just out of your grasp mm -hmm. lord i just rebuke you know that spirit of discouragement that spirit of discouragement mm -hmm. and i want to speak in a gentle sensitive way to this person whoever this person is to encourage them that god loves you mm -hmm. he don't look down on you because you don't speak in tongues mm -hmm. that's a lie from the devil mm -hmm. whether you ever do it or not mm -hmm. it doesn't make you any less saved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. praise god and that but i you know um God gives you the desires of your heart. If that's something you desire, He knows it. He's a gentleman. Mm -hmm. He doesn't force His desires mm -hmm. on you. I mean, what am I trying to say? Yeah. I, I, if you really want the gift, God will give it to you. God, yeah. He, seek, seek and you will find. He's a gentleman. He don't force His way. You know, and, you know, if, you're, if you love Him, He knows your heart. 
God knows the man that loves him, it says in Scripture. And so just be comforted with that. Amen. Amen. So I pray that will help you. Bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all. Amen. Yeah. <laughs>